our hormones start becoming imbalanced at the end of our 30s and especially after 40. So that's why I divide, I'm going to divide the symptoms uh, and the problems of hormone imbalance up between the young and the older ladies, mature ladies like me. So these are chemical keys. They go into a lock. They're specific for every one of your cells. So if you have too much estrogen, it's overstimulating those cells. So it's about balance and not just about how much that you have, but you have to have your hormones and female hormones. Now there's many others, but female hormones are estradiol, which is your estrogen, young woman's estrogen. It comes from your ovary. Progesterone, which is, I have the symptoms or the, uh, the things that they do. They may be um, small for you to read at this point. I'm sorry about that, but there's so many things they do. But estradiol is basically the female hormone. It grows our breasts and makes our hair shiny. It makes us have a waistline and hip fat so that we can bear children. And it gives us one of the hormones we need to, when we're pregnant. And it is, it's, it's important. It's very important throughout our lives. Progesterone is the hormone that balances it. God gave us a balance. Progesterone is only secreted from the ovary when you ovulate. And that means before we started having periods and after menopause, there's no progesterone. It's only there to balance your estrogen. And it's there to make your uterus behave and your breasts behave. And, and, all, and, your, and your mind be stable because lack of progesterone is PMS.